Today, the power of early detection and diagnosis. I'm Erica Batrini. Access Health starts now. Each year, some 300,000 people in the United States contract Lyme disease. And according to the CDC, the number is on the rise. Lyme disease emerged from the wilds of Lyme, Connecticut in 1970. As someone who lives in Connecticut, tick awareness is always close to mind. However, recent reports indicate that incidents of Lyme disease have been reported from all 50 states. The most commonly ordered set of tests from Lyme disease are those that test for antibodies. However, there are still limitations with those current tests that can often take up the valuable time needed for prompt treatment to occur. I sat down with Dr. Raymond Datweiler, professor of microbiology, immunology, and pediatrics at New York Medical College. He is also a pioneer in the development of new diagnostic tests for the early diagnosis of Lyme disease. Doctors, thank you so much for making a house call. Pleasure to be here. So let's get right to it. I think that most people know that Lyme disease can be caused by a tick bite, but they don't really understand the disease itself. Can you explain Lyme disease for us? The bacterial disease that's spread by ticks. Ticks carry the bacteria, inoculate it into your skin as they feed upon you. And it's only one species of tick that does it, and, but it's unfortunately a common species. It's seen here in, in the northeastern United States, upper Midwest, and now on the West Coast. That was it's, my next question, because we think of it being Connecticut, Northeast, but how prevalent is it really? Well, it, it's getting more prevalent, but contrary to what people think, Lyme disease is actually a Northern Hemisphere disease. It's not just here, it's in Europe, it's in Asia, it's everywhere. And the number of cases each year have been going up. So doctor, if someone suspects that they've been bitten by a tick or that they may have a tick-borne illness, what sort of signs and symptoms should they look for? The classic sign of Lyme disease is a very characteristic skin lesion called erythema migrans. Erythema means red, migrans means expanding. But the hallmark is it gets bigger. Now, if you get bit by a tick, you're gonna have a little area of redness just because you've got bit. Mm -hmm. Erythema migrans will go from a dime or a quarter size of a tick bite to ex an expanding lesion. That's the only sign of early Lyme disease that we have. So I know that there are a certain amount of people who don't get the sign. That's correct. Um, and so they have symptoms. What are some of the symptoms associated? 80 to 90% of individuals will get erythema migrans that, ha that have Lyme disease. It's like any other infection. You get low-grade fever. You don't kind of feel well. You feel achy, you feel out of sorts. Very nonspecific things. Mm -hmm. But if you have been bitten and then you start not feeling well, then you really should do something about it. How do you eventually test for it then? The primary test, or the only test that's really widely available, is a test that looks for antibodies against the bacteria that causes Lyme disease. Mm -hmm. The standard old way of doing it was to take uh, a first test and ask, do you have any antibodies that react to the proteins of the bacteria that causes Lyme disease? Mm -hmm. And if yes, then you would do a second test and ask, are those antibodies directed against specific proteins of the bacteria. And the interpretation of these tests, which are called Western blots, is hard, mm -hmm. very subjective, and open to a lot of misinterpretation. But also, another problem is, especially in early disease, it wasn't very sensitive. Mm. So the standard test in the first month of infection, more than 50% of people with Lyme disease were negative in, the, mm -hmm. in, in, the, in that test. And that gave Lyme disease testing a very bad reputation. Mm -hmm. People think, well, it's, it, it's not sensitive at all. It doesn't p pick it up. That's wrong because if you, after a month, it becomes very sensitive, but you've missed a the nice window. window of opportunity where you're able to treat people right. and have the best outcome. Treatment of early disease is highly successful. I know you're here to tell us about some advancements in Lyme testing. What do we need to know? In 2019, the FDA approved a new method, the modified two-tier system by Zeus Scientific. They took two first-tier tests, put them together in a way that allows for 
automation of the test, better test results, especially in early disease, and allowed for the elimination of the Western blot. So it sounds like this new test is more accurate and allows for earlier detection. More accuracy, quicker test results, and uh, it's easier for everybody to do. And it's available in your standard laboratories. All you have to do is ask your physician for the new modified two-tier system test. And that's so important. I'm so glad you're here today because I think patients need to be aware that this test does exist and they need to ask for it. Correct. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us today. If you'd like to learn more about Lyme disease or about the diagnostic test that we talked about today, be sure to visit ZeusLyme.com. Mm -hmm.